Okay, this is a quick video in response to one of my subscribers, Dent Sports Fan 18, and he's learning to throw the breaking pitches. And this is what he writes. He says he tried out a couple of them uh, over the last couple of weeks or so during games. And he says, I believe I need to focus more on the direction of the wrist snap and the same motion as you. My pitches tended not to have much movement when trying these, but practice makes perfect indeed. Well, there's a couple of things I'd like to say. I've noticed over the years that a lot of coaches I've seen overemphasize the grip. To me, the grip is just a starting point. It gets you going in the right direction. But if you don't have the right uh, spin or the right, uh, I should say, rotation on the ball in relation to the ball flight, then it doesn't matter what your grip is. The grip is just to get you there. If the grip that you're taught is not doing the job, change the grip, adjust the grip, adjust the release, adjust the angle. Do whatever you need to do to get the ball rotating correctly. Now, it's hard to do that when you can't clearly see the rotation of the ball. That's why, like in my video, pitching breaking pitches, I showed you how to tape balls like this. What you wanna do is tape them around the uh, two seam rotation side and that way when you're pitching you can see the rotation clearly and you can make adjustments so let's talk about that breaking pitch I'll demonstrate with my slider or some might call it a curveball but it's the pitch I throw it breaks away from a right-handed batter it breaks into a left-handed batter now when I throw that pitch it should look like this it has backward rotation at an angle to the flight direction okay that ball is going to tend to run to the tape side of the front of the ball like this. That's the way it's going to run. Now, if I'm learning that pitch and I'm not getting that rotation, then it doesn't matter what my grip is. So it's important that you establish the rotation first. What I would do is not focus so much on the command of the pitch. You might be throwing it all over the place, short, deep. Uh, left, right, it really doesn't matter. What you have to do is establish first with your grip and your mechanics the right rotation, the right grip. Now, in a game, it's just the opposite. Command is more important than anything. Movement, it doesn't matter. Command is the most important or location of the pitch. But when you're learning, it's just the opposite. You have to establish the mechanics for the proper break first. Because if you don't, and then say you, you now you've learned to throw the pitch really on the spot, but your break's not any good. If you go back and try to fix your break, it's, gonna, it's going to change your location. So the best thing to do is, is establish the best break you can throw. If it takes you a thousand pitches, it doesn't matter. Establish the best break you can throw, memorize that, and then start focusing on the location of the pitch. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, please uh, put them below and subscribe and I look forward to hearing from you.